continuing now to texture the submarine panels from the Kursk. Uh, if you recall, I've decided to, instead of using just one UV and doing one panel, I decided to use the UDIMS method where I get multiple UV tiles and I brought it all into Substance Painter and we started texturing last time and this is where we've gotten to. I've gone ahead and I've done just a little bit more. I've added some dirt. I'll leave that exposed. I've added some text. I'll show you that later on just so I don't spend too much time doing things that I'm sure you already know how to do. And uh, we're just going to continue now to work on this and see how far we get. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to the buttons layer here. I'll turn on the dirt in a minute. We wanna to, we want to give these a material. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see. We'll come to these materials, I guess. Type in plastic. I'm gonna use this plastic mat. I'm gonna drag it in right there, actually. All right, and we're not gonna keep it like that. Oh, that does look kinda of cool. We're going to come down here and I'm going to switch this to a black color and maybe I'll drop the roughness a little bit to get a bit more shine to it and uh, this is going to be black plastic and I want that uh, I don't want it on the screws anyhow so uh, let's go ahead and add a black mask and we'll just put it on the things we want we'll use the polygon fill tool I'll switch over to mesh and I'll click on the buttons I'm gonna want it there and I'm gonna just you know just choose the things that I want to have like that all of these buttons and knobs and this will just take a little bit of work as we select everything All right, once I'm done, I'll click on the brush and I now have that on there. I need to uh, do some work on my shading. I'll do that back in Blender, so that's not a problem at all. And I've got, I think, everything I need in block for the time being. All right, good, okay. The next thing I want to do is I wanna add a little white cap on these knobs here. So I've got black plastic. I'm just going to duplicate that layer and I'm going to clear the mask and I'll call this white plastic. And I'll come in here and I'll change the color. I don't want it pure white, just something like that. I've got the black mask on on the mask. I'll come over to polygon fill. I'm going to switch to UV chunk, zoom in, and just select the very tips here. I'll make one of those white and I'll leave the other ones. Now we're going to work on the buttons themselves, the square buttons. So I'm going to duplicate this again and I'm going to call this beige plastic. I'll clear the mask and change this To, we'll start off with that kind of color and I can see how it looks and I'm going to come back and I still want to stay on UV chunk and let's see I don't think that's the color I'm going to want so hmm. no, more of 
a gray kind of I'll start with that and I think I will maybe I'll go over all of the buttons for now and then I'll choose the ones that I want to have a different color and by the way having the seams I should just mention this will allow the material to go down a couple of rows down to here and by the way as well by using this UDIMS method and having more space devoted I'm getting a nicer um, sort of um, I'm getting a nicer resolution anyhow the materials are looking better than when I when I haven't done this before okay let's just have a look at that for the generic buttons I may pull those in more I may not all right so I've got that and now what I'm going to do is make a couple of them different colors so I'm going to duplicate that again uh, is this what I want to do yeah, I think so I'm gonna duplicate that again I'm going to clear the mask and I want to make this let's say we go for a red color let's try that And I'll make a few of these red. Just here and there. Okay, like that. And then I'll make a few of them green. So this is uh, gonna be red. Red plastic, I'm gonna duplicate that. Clear the mask. This is going to be green plastic. We'll try that. And we'll have a bit of green. Yeah, a couple of them, a few of them there like that. And uh, maybe just one there. I do want that on here as well. Oh, I don't, don't know that I, yeah, I'll do something like that, so I had a nice mix there, now I want to add an effect on these buttons, a sort of a shine, sort of a gradient, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create, um, I think I'll just do a, a, a paint layer, and we'll do just color, and I'll do something like, you know, just an off-white. And I'm going to come to my alphas and find a square. And I could, I could use a circle, I guess, but uh, I'm going to use a square. And I'm going to scale this down. This will take another couple minutes as well. And I'm just going to put one in the middle of all of these. Before I go too far though, I'm going to test what I want to do. I'm going to add a filter, and it's going to be the, the blur filter. And then I'm going to bring this up. And that's basically the effect that I'm going for. All right, so I'm okay with that. So I'll shut off the filter, and I'll continue.
right I've got all of them so I'm going to turn on the blur filter and this is the effect that it gives me and I'm, I'm happy with that I'm going to call this button shine and I think I will take all of these and I'll put them in a folder so I'm going to select them all and I'll go uh, control G, uh, just G color button color and I'm going to do one more effect and that is an emission and I'll do a fill layer and this is going to be emissive but to use that I need to turn that on so I'm going to come to my texture set settings and scroll down and add an emission or emissive um, channel oh looks like I already did I already did do that normally that would not be there and I would come here and I would add emissive channel so I've got it there all right I'm gonna add a black mask because I don't want it going everywhere and on here I'm gonna scroll down and I and just uh, alt click emission I might use a color we'll, we'll see in fact I, I think I probably will I might just leave it as white eh, no no I won't so we're gonna do a red so I'm just gonna choose a red color here and red for the emission Let's, I'll start with that and I'm going to turn the emissive intensity up a little bit so we can see it a little bit better and um, I think these ones let's see let's come over to here to the choose that and I want to be on the uh, okay so let's see it's possible I didn't need to go around and put the red and the green on the more I think about it but that's all right um, so we got the emissive intensity up we'll also come over here and activate post effects glare and uh, go into glare and make sure i've chosen bloom and that's what i will get so i want those ones to glow let's have a look at not using the color just that i think i'm going to go for that instead without the, uh, the the color on it so i'm going to light up some of the red ones not all of them so that it was worthwhile for me <laughs> to have uh put that red color so i'll light that one up i'll light that one up just in case you know we don't see everything in the in the render i'll have uh i'll have that that one and uh that one okay so they glow a little bit i don't know why there's different levels of, of red um we're going to do another one so this is going to be emissive red and i'm going to duplicate that and i'll clear the mask and i'm going to change the color now to green I can turn down the effect so I'll just have the one there I'll have this one and I also want that to glow yeah we'll turn it down maybe uh, one of those all right at this point I'm going to turn on the dirt that I added it's just dirt on the buttons and it wouldn't have made sense to have that and it's kind of innocuous it just goes in there but it wouldn't have, wouldn't have made sense to, to see the dirt without the material on it. So there's dirt on the buttons. There's dirt on the screws. Okay. And of course, I also did my inset thing on all these buttons. I just did that off camera so that I wouldn't spend too much time showing that and, and, and doing it on camera. So we've got that going. And let's see what else I've got. I may grab all of these and put them in the button folder. Okay. And uh, I'll come up to the body here. And we'll just turn on the text. There's nothing at all uh, special about any of the text that I've done. I've just done some text and uh, dirtied it up a little bit. All right, just to have a little bit of extra something on there. I may change this. Some of this is just 
for testing purposes. And uh, yeah, I think that's a good place to stop for now. There's a couple more things I want to do uh, with the uh, with the with the textures themselves, and then we're going to take them into Blender, and that's where I will probably apply the glass. I've already did I did the glass in Substance Painter, but I figured that wasn't really necessary to show you. I'll probably put on a black material on these just in Blender because I had missed those. But like I said, I'll put the glass on the, the radar panel. You know, I created a graphic for that and I'll have a little bit of work to do on them. On these, I also created a graphic here and there's an, a needle. I'll probably just make that black in Blender. And that's what we have so far, okay? I could come back in here and um, I've got anti-aliasing and color profile on actually right now so that's good and make sure we're in perspective and there we go that's what uh, that's what we're getting all right all right we are getting close to the end of the texturing and the experiment of using UDIMS for this I'm very happy with the resolution of everything so far and we're only looking at 1k right now by the way uh, of course I haven't zoomed way way in I haven't shown you that but uh, we'll up it to 2k before we you know before we export so a little bit more work that I'm, go I'm going to do on this and we'll leave it at that for now so thanks very much for watching and hope to see you in the next video